Today is a good day. You know why? Makeup Forever just launched a new foundation. Historically, Makeup Forever foundations are amongst my all-time favorites. They have hands down the best powder foundation formula. Stick formula is great. And of course, they have their original HD skin foundation, which was reformulated last year, but I still very much enjoy this one. But this one, this time is the HD Skin Hydra Glow Hydrating Foundation inspired by Korean sheet masks, which I have been a fan of for years on end. They say there's an ingredient called the Hydra Skin Booster Complex, which is going to mimic the hydrating effect of a sheet mask and going to deliver 24 hour hydration. Now this is not going to be a first impressions. I wore this yesterday, so I kinda know where this is going. And I've learned that I really do prefer to do comparisons for my foundation wear tests. So what better time than to compare it to the original HD Skin Foundation. This foundation is $47, it has Makeup Forever's great shade range available to you, but what I love about Makeup Forever is they do offer mini sizes. Now the shades are limited. It looks like there's only six shades currently available in the mini size, but it's going to be $22 and it's great just to test out the formula if they do have a shade available to you. The foundation itself is made in France and it has 1.01 fluid ounces, which is very standard. And it says it's 86% skincare ingredient based. So they're definitely going for that trendy skincare foundations, which I was wary of because in 2022, they launched a bunch of skincare infused foundations and they just looked really thick and heavy on the skin. But I can tell you this, this doesn't have that. So if you're in store, don't get it confused with the original. This new Hydra Glow has white packaging, whereas the original has nude packaging but they are really, really close to one another. Okay, let's get in close. We're getting ready for the day. I'm using the shade 1N14. This is a little bit too deep and yellow on me. They describe it for light skin tones with neutral undertones, but it's it's yellow. It's yellowy on me. And also typically I go for descriptions that say light medium, but this says for light and it's darker than some light light medium descriptions that I've used. So just keep that in mind. It definitely, this is the original foundation right here and this is the HD Glow. This one is definitely thinner and more watery. I used one pump. I am loving this Rose Ink number three brush for foundation application. So you can see this particular shade, while they describe it as neutral, I swear it's the yellow. They do say that this is best for dry combo and normal skin, so for everybody, but I'm telling you now, if you have dry skin, I think you're going to love this. But you know, if you have oily skin, I think you're gonna like this too, but you are gonna wanna powder a little bit. So this is with one layer on the skin. You can still see some of my redness peeking through. For reference, I do have dry skin, in case you needed that information. But I've been noticing lately a lot of foundations have been looking cracked and dry on my nose, no matter the foundation for the most part. But this foundation, despite it having such a glowy finish, is not emphasizing the dryness at all. My skin looks really plumped and I see what they mean by Korean sheet mask inspired. This glow is glassy. If you like that glassy look, this is the foundation for you. Now I'm going to build on my cheek a little. For the most part, I would say this isn't very buildable coverage. It's gonna stop you right on the lighter side of medium here, but you definitely get enough coverage to even you out. If you have some zits, you might need to add a little extra concealer on top to get the redness, but it will definitely mute it. It's not going to pop out at you. I'm gonna get some down the neck since this is not a perfect match for me. Honestly, it's gorgeous and it's exactly as described. This is just one of those products where all of the claims that they make, everything about the description is absolutely true. It hydrates, it smooths, it definitely visibly plumps and brightens skin. 100% in agreement with everything that they are claiming. So if you can't tell, this is gonna be a positive review. I really like this. And I do prefer to apply this with a brush because even though I'm applying it with a brush, it's keeping all of that luminosity. I think it might be a bit much for me if I use the sponge, as well as the brush is going to keep the coverage. Now I'm going to use the original HD Skin, also in the shade 1N14. I just cleaned off my brush. 
I was messing around with it earlier. So I have some left over that I'll just put on my face. When I do TikTok reviews, I film this part twice. <laughs> so that's why this is from me filming my TikTok. Anyways, with this foundation, the original, I would say you get more coverage and the coverage is definitely more customizable because you can build the coverage on the original. And I just feel like you can't do that with the new HD Skin Glow. Now, major differences I'm seeing right away. You can see how much more glowy the Skin Glow is compared to the original. The original has more of a natural matte kind of finish to it, which I normally prefer a natural matte finish because I feel like I do look more glowy towards the end of the day. But I'm so happy at how different these look. You can have both of these foundations in your collection and they serve complete different purposes on the face for your look. You're not wasting your money by having both where at the end of the day they look the same. These are two completely different finishes. So it is worth your while to have both if you were interested in having both. Now, generally speaking, I would say a more natural matte finish I find to be more flattering for smoothing over the pores. And I can definitely see with the glow, like you can see the pores a little bit more, but I'm not offended by this whatsoever. I still think it looks really nice. And for all things considered, it being such a gluey foundation, I think it's doing a really nice job over my pores. I'm going to blend the center of my nose. I just want there to be that clear mark of which foundation is which. And the shades are identical. So if you have the original and you love that shade on you, definitely go with the same for the HD Glow. I do think my skin looks more hydrated and plump with this new foundation. The original, I've always liked this, but it does always start off like a hint dry looking, just a hint. Not enough to offend me, not enough to turn me off, but you can see it is looking a little bit more makeup-y. Not in a bad way, this foundation is still great, but side by side, you can see. I mean, the only thing I can say is pretty much everything Makeup Forever claimed about this new foundation is true, and I am so happy with how it's working over my dryness. You can't even really see it. It's not really emphasizing it. Do you want to take a sponge to my nose really quickly, though? And everything they use to describe both of these foundations are 100% true and visible on the face. So let me go ahead and finish my makeup. Makeup is done, I have an interesting find. So I did my normal makeup routine. I did my normal Laura Mercier powder under the eyes, around the T-zone. I also did a powder blush over top. I'm not gonna do any setting spray or anything. And when you powder, you're definitely going to lose that glass-like skin. We know that I can still see more glow peeking through on the glow side, despite even having powder blush and setting the T-zone. If you want to keep the integrity of the glow of this Skin Glow Foundation, definitely barely, barely set. I'm talking very light powder on the under eyes, very barely in the center. I wanted to go ahead with my normal setting routine so that I can really see how this wears in the normal way that I would wear it. Also, the pore situation is coming through with this. I felt like the glow on this side, you could see a little bit more pores, but now with the powder, I'm definitely seeing that the original side has more of a blurred finish, whereas this side over here, I can see my pores just peeking through over the powder a little bit more. So that original non-glowy foundation is doing better with a set face in terms of blurring over the pores. You can see the pores here more, but I'm not upset about it. It. I would say typically when it comes to preference of how to apply this foundation from here on out I'll probably set 
less to get more of the glow because it's so pretty but I do want to see if it does come back through as the day wears on and as the foundation is on longer and my natural oils peek through because I do this setting routine pretty much with every foundation I want to see if it's going to end up being different with this because I can see myself on natural ma makeup days not really setting so that the glass like glow can come through but let me know which side are you preferring. The original side looks a little bit more makeup-y. It still looks really good, but it just has more coverage on there and you can see that. This is a little bit more skin-like and brightening. So I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. I'm going to catch up with you guys in a few hours and we'll get into it then. All right guys, so we are about five hours into wear time. I wanted to do an update. Let's see. I think this is where at the four or five hour mark is where things with makeup does start to go downhill. So up until this point, I'm expecting it to look pretty good and it really does. Now I can see more oils have started to collect over here than on the original foundation shot side, which is to be expected, honestly, with it being a glowier base. Now, as far as natural oils coming through, it's not hot in Miami today, so I didn't do anything really strenuous or sweaty. I ran out actually and I picked up the new Louboutin foundation for my next wear test if you guys want to see that. But anyways, I don't see much of the glow coming through. A little bit more than what we have on the natural side, but definitely powdering it down, tampered down the glass skin a lot and kind of changed the finish of that foundation. If I had to pick a side, I do think the original side looks better as far as wear goes, which I expected considering the fact that it doesn't have such a glowy base, but the glow side is feeling more lightweight, but for the most part, it's holding up pretty well, almost, not quite, but almost as good as the original, but I'm willing to give up a little bit of wear time for the skin to be glowy, so that's why I'm not bothered that this doesn't wear as well as the HD original one, but they're very, very close, so. This is where we're working. I will keep you guys updated for the next few hours. Now, you can see it kind of seeping here. This is just a deeper smile line. It always comes on this side. But it does look a little bit more dry here than it does here in terms of wear level. But see you guys in a few hours. All right, folks, we are eight and a half hours in. It's time for the final wear test. And I have to say, I am amazed at how this wore. Let me turn the lights down a little bit. So even on the original side, I can see oil definitely collecting through here. And it does have a little bit of oil here on the skin glow side as well. All things considered for this being a skin glow product, look how good this wears. Makeup Forever just in general, creating really beautiful products, really beautiful foundations. There is more glow coming in on this side. This is a beautiful product. I really, really enjoy it. So who is this product for? Honestly, I'm going to agree with every skin type. Even though I've said it and it's glowy, I feel like it's done really well with my skin and my wear. I know I do have dry skin, so if you have oily skin, please weigh in on the comments. But if I had to guess, I think this would be good for oily skin, however you do want to set. And I wouldn't, you know, wear this for a night out somewhere you, where you know you're going to be hot and sweaty. I just realized my eyelash is coming off. But I'm just saying, my dry skin girls, your skin is going to thrive with this product. It's hydrating, it wears really well, and the big thing for me, I've noticed a lot in this area lately that foundation has been clinging onto dry patches. This foundation did not cling onto any dry patches despite the glow. So I think Makeup Forever did a phenomenal job with this foundation, and honestly, I've been a fan of the original one. However, this one, I think I might like better. I can see myself reaching more for the HD skin just because it wears better, but in terms of being a glowy, glowy foundation, Makeup Forever has created one of the best glass-like glowy foundations. I have not come across a glowy foundation that wears as good as this, that looks so great over pores, over dry patches, and gives that glass-like glow. So I'm super duper impressed with this. If you're on the market for a glass skin foundation, I think this is one of the best 
that you can pick up. Now, as always, we are still in the early stages of testing. While most of the time my first and second impressions don't change, it has happened. I've made mistakes. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can watch my follow-up videos, my speed reviews, where I will tell you after many more wears how I feel about this one. But I am, I'm feeling confident about this one. So if you tried this foundation, let me know. Like I said, particularly if you have oily skin, let a girl know, did this work out for you? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found out helpful. Make sure you subscribe because I think, I think we're gonna do the Louboutin wear test next. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.